Uh, and that's nothing against him as a player or as his performance in this game. It's just a really hard lane. Stun top lane. Actually, it's a double stun. Illusory over to follow. Eventual Spear getting the last hit. Luna gonna lift his scene. Oh, Chavos actually comes in with the Illusory Orb. He, and wow, Luna is in a ton of trouble. He's gonna try to tango his way out. Oh, wow, Uses two. Of big plays. Huge oh, stun. Oh, the snow. Okay, TP's coming in. Puppy's actually completely out of mana. He's gonna take a cold feet to the face or to the feet. Either one. <laughs> Either way, he's dead one way or another. And Loda's actually back because Kuroki's completely out of mana. Nice ice vortex slowing him down. This is gonna be a death one way or another. And Luna getting the last hit on that bad boy. What so a great play. turnaround. So Luna can we carry played. later on S4. It's gonna be in a lot of trouble again. Does get the yeah. march off. But it's actually gonna do gonna really be good damage to Kuroki. Yeah, Kuroki might go down to the march. Oh, nope, good. not looking like that's Ooh, gonna be the case. Actually, Get a free kill. A little bit closer than I thought. Either way, it's, I mean, way in favor of Navi, even if he went down, but um, doesn't do so, obviously. So, But Navi's doing a really good job with smokes this game, ganking left and right. Uh, Dendi picking Mid. up. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Ember Spirit picking up Arcane Booth. Hey, that counts for something, okay? Sure. Ganking left and right in the mid lane, they came from both angles as oh. AA actually gets a solo kill on Lion. That was a beautiful snipe here by EGM. You can look if you're mid, you can get room control and actually gank a little bit. Kavos though, taking battle hunger. <laughs> he actually oh, got rid of it immediately. AA oh, oh, nice oh. face shift though. Culling Blade almost went up, but I don't think that would have been enough to kill him. Perhaps it was. Jeter actually hit. He could be dying from this. This is a level 4 battle hunger. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, Most is dead, dead if he doesn't see sure. here. Or of course, if he doesn't get the kill. That EGM. Oh, let him get the kill. He does. Oh, cold feet, though. Mm. Beautifully done. This fire rim then travels slower than base hero moves to. Oh, oh Loda. Loda getting caught out. They could use the illusory orb. No, I'm sorry. The dream ball if they want. Eclipse is actually they used. The clips off. And Dendi gets the kill. So he lives to see another day thanks to his ultimate again coming in use. Kuroki. Uh, the Gale's gonna miss, and the Cold Feet's not gonna initial, initially proc. Double Impale, there's the Dream Coil on two, though. He could've gotten on three, but didn't choose to do so as Bulldog taking a lot of damage. Oh, wow. That is like, you rarely see that spell actually proc correctly, as Bulldog is in a lot of trouble. He's gonna go down, but it's gonna be a trade thanks to the Calling Blade. Dendi going down to the Rockets, not able to get away from his ultimate. Funic getting caught in between an actual sandwich, not a European sandwich, but he gets out of it because he, he bites right through like nothing else. The rock is going to destroy. Hey, if he had one point in his ultimate, I think they could have gone for that. That's very true. Now, Frost is thinking about it. He's going to go in. Dream Coil only on one, though. He's getting cold feet. He's going to get out before Prox. His axe is going to be the first to fall. But of course, it ends up being a trade. Puck going down. EGM trying to do as much damage before he goes down. Either way, looks like Funix going to be the one actually drops his Dendi. Doesn't have his ultimate up, it looks like. So he will use Sleight of Fist to stay alive a little bit longer, but will not live long enough. Kuroki, the last to survive in this mid lane. Of course, I don't even think he was part of that. Of course, he has his link. He's going to use his finger directly in the gullet of Venomancer. <laughs> oh, he's so dead for that, though. I bet he it still is. feels good, huh? though. Oh, maybe, maybe not. not. The Do you know the Vortex? Blink? There's none no, of Oh, there is the mana. Damage. Damage. You can blink now. Yeah. Attack. Beautiful. Actually got away with that. Very nicely done by, by Kuro here. And eventually Axe when he picks up his flank dagger. But when he comes in, yeah, he's going for the tank. Oh, AOK. Okay. Okay. Oh. Actually going to be a little off the mark here. EGM overshooting it a bit. I think this might give Navi the confidence to stay in here, although they are getting scouted out. I don't think a line will be on time. This is going to cut really close. They should get it. I would at least think so. Ember Spear is going to want to pick it up as Funic looks like he's going to drop before anything happens here. Puppy getting off his Howl of Terror to no avail. Dendi. As the Aegis, as you talked about, we heard a call of Blade going to the Aegis is going to be used immediately. Are they going to be able to surround him? Doesn't look like they want to. Marching Machines is going to force him out as he uses his Sleight of Fist and his ultimate to get away. Alliance should be favored in this fight regardless. We have another buyback of course. Kobos did clip doing Dendi. so dendy. Yep. We're going to survive though. This, this is where Flame Guard is amazing as well. If he's hit by that combo. Oh, S4! Yes, oh. He gets his laser off as you're talking about pure damage, but Dendi and Kuroki. Doing some layered stunning. That's gonna be enough to kill Tinker. So being a little bit over aggressive is S4. Thinking about it. There we go. With his Venom blink. Oh my God, this is gonna be so Please sick. Please don't get me here. He's gonna hit. Boom. Phase shift, of course, used to dodge it. Uh, Roshan's gonna, gonna go down one way or another. Actually get it. Have to get the Denny's Den. He's gonna pick it up. Here we have the initiation. Eclipse. Oh my God, Lion goes down before he can do anything. Two dead. Three dead. Of course, Aegis gonna be used. Funic. This is a team. This is gonna be a team wipe if they're not careful. Denny trying to get out. He does. Two survive for. For, not for now, for now. From S4, he has the hex. He stands still. So bottom lane, putting up the Nether Ward. Funix is gonna try to kill it. He's gonna get to fight. He's gonna get to fight. And here comes S4 with the sheep and the. Oh, did he block him? He did. Beautifully done. Beautiful. Funix goes down. S4 
getting credit for the kill. He's got a Malefus actually, but there's the ult from Bolt. Oh, ultimate from Puppy's gonna get one kill out of this. Is he gonna be able to get away from S4? The sheep, nope, the shock. Too much damage. That was so close from Kuro with that team. Happening. They're actually gonna try to con contest this. They're gonna be too late. Yeah, Bristol's gonna get the last hit. Here comes Loda though, pops his rage. He's gonna go inside an Eidolon. Bristol is still dead using the Aegis. Of course, the Aegis is absolutely used right off the bat. Loda is getting swapped to save him. At least for now, he's gonna live. So there's the black hole on two, along with the first damage coming from Fallen, then Dendi, that's one dead, two dead for Alliance. And Alliance needs to back the horse up out of here as Aki's gonna get caught thanks to the Malathus. One left EGM, TP's out just in time. Of course, Loda. That's EGM. Having a death party of sorts trying to catch somebody out. Of course, Admiral Bulldog is now there to help out. Dendi though in the back, we're seeing initiation from Puppy on the Bulldog. And this is gonna completely isolate Vengeful Spirit. There's the ultimate going up, EGM not able to get his ult off though to cancel. The Sheep Stick will follow Pipe, and Dendi just, good lord. I mean, Glass Cannon, sure, but he still oh, deals S4. a ridiculous amount of damage. S4 is gonna get good. Are they gonna continue to, this pressure? Puppy, of course, doesn't have a Blink Dagger, so can't really catch up. S4 just trying to get enough space to be able to use Blink, but will not do so. I believe Dendi actually might have canceled that.